Okay, on today's quick tutorial, we're going to talk about stacking a fixed navigation header uh, on top using Figma's new uh, stick at the top feature. So you can see I've got yellow here. We'll say this is like browser Chrome or maybe a sub navigation, and that's fixed. And then we want to take this header or this navigation and we're going to pin it underneath. Uh, I got a few questions about this in the comments, so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to stack it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, I've set up my screen. So this whole screen is just an auto layout. I've got my spacing set at 30. I've got my bar up here, labeled it Chrome. I've got my nav here. And uh, this is pretty much all it is. It's one big scroll, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our Chrome at the top. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to hit Absolute Position, Prototype, Fixed, Stay in Place. All right. And now the problem here is we've got this overlapping. So I think that's 45. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add individual padding to my overall frame. And I'm going to go 30 plus 45. And that pushes everything down. So now, it sticks at the top. So now we just need our fixed navigation to pin underneath it. So all we have to do here, well, Normally what you do is you take this, you go to prototype, position, stop at the top edge. Done. Uh, the one thing you want to make sure is that you are set to, I think this is last on top. I think that's right. We're going to find out. Yeah. So it sticks, but it sticks to the top. So the chrome's in the, it is covering it. So that's the problem that everyone's having. So what you need to actually do is take your navigation frame, shift A, so wrap it in another frame. I'm gonna get rid of the spacing there, there. And I'm gonna open up um, individual padding, and we know this Chrome is 45, so I'm gonna put a 45 top padding on it, okay? And now we're gonna have to reselect this outer frame, go back to prototyping, and pick sticky. And now you'll see with that extra padding, then that stops right underneath the chrome. Now the issue here is that your spacing is off. Like if you don't care about that, that's fine. But if you do, what you can do here is you can take this frame, you can wrap it in another frame, and then just change the height by that offset of 45. And then that'll bring all your spacing back. And now everything works just as it should. You've got navigation stacking under a fixed element. Um, if you've got a better way of doing it, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, join the conversation, check out my Patreon, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.